All right, everybody. Um, kind of want to show off my new Twitch overlay. Uh, it's pretty cool. Down here, you've got this this bar, um, which has got my followers and stuff like that. And I've got a subscription goal here. For people who want to subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's, it's keeping up with the running total. For the next 29 days, 28 days, whatever it is, uh, and these are the people that are following me, and it's got the newest follower in the box, and it's got a few other features. Uh, it's really cool. It's a Twitch Kittens design, and I, I like the pur. I love purple. I love this kind of purple. Kind of matches the outfit of my character, really. I mean, I like it. Uh, it matches her clothes. So I thought that was cool. So anyway, I want to play a quick round of Dead by Daylight. Uh, just kind of show off my new stuff. Uh, in the link below, I will put a link to my Twitch. Um, and if you want to follow me on Twitch, please feel free to do so. I stream daily. I stream Dead by Daylight. I stream Dead Frontier 2. Uh, those are the two games I'm currently playing. And I do play daily. Sometimes my streams are an hour and 30 minutes. Sometimes they're an hour. Sometimes they're 30 minutes. It just depends on what kind of time I have during the day. But uh, I will stream every day. And it is taking forever to get a match. Come on. Yeah. Buy my downloadable content. Woohoo. Stranger Things is out. Ooh, we can't wait for Stranger Things. Why don't you fix the damn game you've got first? I swear to God. Network issues, you can't leave the gate sometimes because the world just holds you hostage until you die. Uh, all kind of bugs and stuff. Ooh, but you need to download our content so we can get your numbers. We want your money. Bullshit. Fix the game. I like the game, don't get me wrong. But damn, you get so tired of network issues, you get tired of uh, the exit gates opening and then you can't leave the match. Killers have got no one escapes death and and the match holds you hostage and if you run off the cliff by the campfire and then respawn, the timer's running out if he slams the hatch, you have no way to get out. You're going to lose one way or the other. So, I mean, it's... it's Fix the game. Give Kate some new clothes, for God's sakes. I like to see Kate in a skirt or a dress. Give us some options for what's already here instead of trying to worry about selling us new content. Fix the old content first. That ping's 218. That may be okay. I like it down around 100 and something. But I'll try 220 if it'll stay there. If it spikes red, I'll leave. I think they're leaving because the ping was too high. Or the room may be bugged. That happens a lot. Let's try another room. And they're talking about dedicated servers. I don't know how the hell they're going to make dedicated servers work. I'm not saying they can't do it. I'm just, I don't understand. They can't make what they've got work. <clears throat> if it worked every time without any issues, it'd be different. Now I understand there's always some issues with some games. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, the game's worth what they're asking for. It's a good game. I love playing it. You just, it's so frustrating. The bugs they have, they're not 
they don't seem like they're trying to fix it. They're, they're working on new new content. Well, stop working on new content and fix the old content first. Until it works right, don't worry about something new. The player base would much more appreciate a solid, decent game that does what it's supposed to do over your new content. Holy God, it's in the mood. 2.92? No, I'm not playing that. It's not settling either. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Damn pain's 300. Can't play like that. No way I can play like that. I'll lag and glitch and miss skill checks and everything else. Of course, I miss skill checks anyway sometimes, but I mean, that's ridiculous. Killer would just walk up, kill me, and I never know what happened until I was already dead. And trying to get a match as a killer, you can forget that. It takes forever. You sit in the lobby five minutes maybe, or three minutes, waiting on somebody to show up, and then four people finally get in after five or six minutes, and that last stupid ignorant player will not click the checkbox and waits for the timer to run out. That is that is just aggravating as crap. When you load in and you see the ping, 318, 320, Where's this guy live? On Mars? He needs an Earth-based ISP. Jesus Christ. No, I can't do that. But as killer of the last guy that, that comes in the room, waits, and he won't hit the ready button, uh, it should auto-ready you. It shouldn't be an option. You should have your loadout ready when you come in the get in the match, when you hit the find match button, you should have everything set like you want it. If you forgot something, that's your problem. That way, the killer doesn't have to wait for some idiot to decide whether they want a flashlight to blind him with or a toolbox to try to get gems faster with. It should auto make you ready, and as soon as you're ready, it should load the match. I'm hoping when they go to dedicated servers, that's the way it will happen. But there's, there's, you know, there's no promise on that. Heard a few people talk about playing, testing the dedicated servers. <laughs> they're not going very well. I'm not going to say who told me, but they're not going very well. And it's supposed to match make you. I'm ranked 12. It's supposed to put me with other ranked. 10, 11, 12, 13, somewhere in that range. And I was in a match the other day, and I swear to God, there was two new players in the match with a level 6 killer and me level 12, and they were uh, ranked 12, and they were ranked like, oh my God. I couldn't even tell you. Probably 16, 15, 17, something like that. It was, it was nuts. see what this lobby looks like. A lot of people wonder why I don't stream this game more often. This is the reason. If you try to live stream this game like this, this is what you're doing. Talking to dead air. Trying to kill time while you're burning bandwidth to stream and, and keep people watching you when you're doing nothing but trying to find a lobby. I mean, holy smoke, come on.
This happens all the time too. It happens all the time. I've got a good video card. I've got up-to-date drivers. I've got a board that is a year old. I mean, my computer is, is the case is a little old, but my guts are brand new. My hardware and, you know, and software is all new, up-to-date. Windows 10, latest patch. Everything should be fine. And this game runs like crap. And forget what you want. I mean, just, you know, your wants in a game. Everybody wants something. I understand that. You know, people want new clothes for this character and that character. And people would like to have this add-on for this and that. I, I, I understand completely. But when this game sits here and does this for freaking ever until you restart it. And the only way at this point to restart the game is to pull up Task Manager and shut the process down and restart the whole thing. I mean, this is this is stupid. People wonder why I don't stream it more often. I mean, come on. I'm going to have to go over here to the other monitor and pull up Task Manager and see if the game is even responding. Dead by daylight. See? Says it's fine. I don't have any response issues. Streamlabs is responding. Everything's working fine. That game should be running right now. I should be... Oh, see? It went non-responsive. And then blinked back out. Let's watch it a second. Because it'll go non-responsive and then recover, or try to recover, and then it goes non-responsive again. See, not responding. Now that blinks off like, oh wait, I think we're going to recover. No, no you're not, because I've been here before. I've sat here 30 minutes waiting on this to recover. It will not leave the screen. It will not eventually crash, but it will not recover. In task. See, this is a streamer's nightmare. This is the worst thing that can happen to a live streamer. When you have to deal with this, pings that are over three or four hundred. I had a ping the other day, I swear to God, five hundred. Five hundred for a ping. You can't even walk with a 500 ping. And trying to stream that is ridiculous. This is why I don't stream the game that much. Just for shits and giggles. Because I've only been recording for... Well, actually, it doesn't tell me how long I've been recording for. I never noticed that. OBS doesn't tell me how long the video is already. Huh. Weird. I never looked. Anyway, I don't give a damn how long it takes. I mean, this, this is ridiculous. I mean, I, you know, I, I support the gaming community. I love the community. I love other gamers. Eh, there's some assholes in the bunch, but you're going to get that anything. Uh, I mean, most people are, are, they just love the game. Okay, I like the game. I love the concept of the game. I even like the characters in the game. But what I can't do I'm going to bypass this. What I can't understand is why a company wants to beg for money for a brand new downloadable content when they've got a game that don't half-ass run in the first place. Just give the players a solid 100% working piece of software that does what it's supposed to do every time they load it. And I hate to say it. Especially in this video, because I'm going to post this video in some Dead by Daylight Facebook sites. Dead Frontier 2. 
runs flawless. I have zero issues with that game, and I stream it daily. Play a survivor. Show me my survivor. Check my loadout. That's good with me. Find a match. Dun, dun, dun. Tick tock, tick tock. You wasted my time. Oh, I'm sorry. I fell asleep waiting on a match. When I play killer, I click find match and I go to the bathroom. And, and when I get back, usually sometimes. I've got a room. 277. 279. How the hell are you supposed to play an online massive multiplayer game with a 278 team? Yeah, see, he says, ah, there's a reason for that. This guy lives on Mars. King Nightmare. Yep. Back. Uh, at this point, you ask yourself, do you even want to try this again? I mean, come on. Do you even want to try this again? This this is ridiculous. I'm just giving it a second to settle. Hopefully, he'll be gone by the time I try to find another match. And I waste a lot of time sitting here looking at nothing waiting on that lobby to go away find the match by the way I've got a hundred down and five up on my internet my streams are flawless I do not lag I do not have issues my internet's rock solid just in case somebody wants to post and say oh well your internet sucks and what the problem is no it does not my dear sir I, I will argue with you over that all day long. My connection is good. Where you live has something to do with it. Maybe there's a lot of European players on right now. Or UK players. Three, are you serious? That was over 360. And it dropped to 240. Yeah. See, can't play that either. No way. I don't know how people stream this. I don't. I don't know how other people play this game. One more time. Uh. If they think dedicated servers is going to be better, fine. Hell, I'm ready to try anything. It can't be any worse. And some people will comment and say, oh, we don't have issues. We don't have that issue. We never had that issue. Okay. Well, maybe you don't. I do. I am a gamer. I am a streamer. I have issues. See? 93. I'll play that in a heartbeat. It can even be up to 150 and it's playable. Anything much over 150, 160? No, I start having skill check lag. That's a dead giveaway to the killer. You can't effectively play like that. I mean, look, I suck at this game anyway, okay? I'm no survivor. I'm going to die. It's just a matter of when. But I play as long as possible, and I'd like every fair advantage to do that. And one of those is connection issue. 102, I can live with that. Hell yeah. See, everybody's here. Everybody's checked up ready. But the killer's not. He, he let the timer run down. Half these people are like me. They've been five or six times trying to get in a match. Game frees up. Have to shut it down the hard way. Same offering. I can't 
game's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyment. It's not supposed to be work. This is not supposed to be a headache. I shouldn't have to take Xanax over my game. But bad enough, I have to take them for my anxiety anyway. Maybe that's part of my problem. Maybe I'm just a little high strung. I don't know. I'm a nice guy. I'm nice to everybody in games. I have friends in games. Space engineers. Oh my God, I have friends. We play all the time. I don't play as much as I used to. I probably need to. As a matter of fact, I'd probably stream space engineers. Somebody might watch that. Got some lag on the front end there. So let's see if we can see who the killer is before he sees us. I thought I saw a totem. But if I find one, I'm going to break it every time. People don't break totems either like they're supposed to. You should kill one every time you come in contact with it. Yep, somebody's tearing one down there. I got lag when it broke. I mean, turn it around here. I got a generator done. I hear one. There we go. I prestiged the other day. I don't have my kitty cat perk back yet. I can't tell if the killer's coming or not. I don't even remember the name of the perk. I just know it's a kitty cat and it lights up when the killer's looking at me. There's three done. any more totems. I guess we're just going to run around and leave scratch marks everywhere so we can be found easier. Yep, there's another totem. Lights, lights. Looking for lights. I hear a generator. I thought I saw something move back there. It was a generator. That's four. We need one more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where the hell's the killer at? box. If you don't want it, I'll take it out. What the hell? No killer?
What are y'all doing? Open the gate. I, I don't understand this teabagging shit. Just open the damn gate and leave. Open it. Come on, open it. Open the gate. I'm trying to wait to see what they're waiting on, but geez, come on. Hell yeah. Well, I don't know what that was about. That's the first match in forever where I've not even seen the killer. So, what was the purpose, guys? Oh, it looks like they don't know either. I probably still finished bottom because I only did two generators. But we didn't have any hook rescues. Oh, we all got 10,000. Well, somebody got 11. Killer got nothing. See, that makes me wonder, did the killer get disconnected and the game didn't realize it? His ping was good. But that sucked. That wasn't a good game. That was horrible. Killer just decided not to show up. That's no fun. This is the issues I have with the game. This is what I go through daily with this game. And I watch streamers stream this game on Twitch, and I don't know how the hell they do it. I mean, some people it works for evidently with no issue. I don't have the issue. I have issues issues. And I don't understand. I've got good internet. I've got a good system. I've got a good graphics card. I've got dual monitors. I've got a good setup. So why is the game being a dick for me? I mean, you know, I would appreciate somebody from the game company saying something. You know, somebody get this to somebody who can explain. Because there's no explanation. This sucks. And I love the game. See, again, I love the game. This is, this is not good. Thanks for watching. And maybe things will get better. Maybe they won't. But right now, this, to me, is not worth spending money on downloadable content. I won't buy another damn thing until the basic game runs like it's supposed to. Have a good night, y'all. See you later. Magic Mage 1 on Twitch.